Good morning, good morning everyone. We are fixing to leave Cairnport, Saskatchewan. There we go. Yeah, when I got out of the truck, I can still smell a little bit of that uh, smoke from all the fires apparently. 100 meters, turn right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 1, and then turn left in 40 meters. From all the fires that they have had over here in the last uh, last while, so it's a little bit smoky out there today, but yeah, well. That's the way it goes. Yes, sir. We got 737 kilometers to go to Steinbach. Turn left. And then we'll be in Steinbach. <laughs> Probably about an eight hour drive for me. It's uh, still a little bit of driving today, but. That's all right. I'm gonna get across the highway here. Yeah, it's Sunday today. I'll be home for supper. And now Continue I'm taking on this road for 96 kilometers. I made myself available for Tuesday again. Yep, and we'll see if we get ourselves a good load on Tuesday. Yeah, 21 kilometers to Moose Jaw. Yeah, so let's get on down the road. And thank you guys for joining me on today's uh, vlog. We appreciate it. We hit 700 subscribers yesterday. That's a big milestone again. Oh well, yeah. We appreciate every single one of you subscribers. You know what? Without you guys, it would be hard for me to continue going, you know? If nobody is watching, then what good does it do putting up the videos, right? Alrighty guys, we left Regina here a little bit ago. We had ourselves some breakfast over here. And also dispatch required me to, uh, or asked me to uh, uh, fax the paperwork to them. So that way they can set up the border crossing, I guess, for, uh, for whoever wants to uh, pick up this load tonight, I guess, and start heading towards Shelby, Ohio. So. I asked them if it was okay if I just emailed it to them and they said, yeah, sure, that's fine with them. Because we, uh, we here at Penners, we have an email system, so we don't need to, uh, we don't need to fax everything to them. So I have a, uh, a uh, program on my phone that will actually take pictures of the uh, paperwork. I take a picture of each uh, individual sheet and I just email it to them. So that way, uh, I don't need to pay for faxing all the time, you know. My new penners will pay us back for the faxing, but for me, it's just as easy, you know. I go in, in the back of the truck and I just take the pictures, and you know, obviously, I stop somewhere. And I was just like two minutes away from Regina, anyway, so I figured I wanted to get me some breakfast done, anyway. So just quickly grabbed my paperwork and took the pictures and emailed it to them and they were happy that way they can start working on the paperwork for whomever is gonna I guess take the load from Steinbach tonight because this load is a little bit tight well it's not really my fault because I guess they didn't have nobody else there to pick the load up and get it to Steinbach sooner so Yes, uh, gets there to Steinbach when I get there, so. But uh, I guess they figured they wanted to get the paperwork set up so that way uh, whoever is gonna, I guess they're going to give the load to, 
is going to be able to leave immediately once I get to Steinbach with the load and I don't know if they're going to put a team driver on it or what but the load is supposed to be in uh, Shelby, Ohio on uh, on Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. so they're going to have to have their work cut out for them if they want to get it there on time but oh well not my problem I guess I can only get it to Steinbach as fast as I can. I do need to eat as well, so they have to allow me the time to eat, so. And they do, they do. But as you can see, it's really, I don't know, well, it looks like fog, but it is actually smoke. When I climbed out of the truck and Regina, everything smells like smoke, like a fire smoke. And they've been having a lot of fires up here in Saskatchewan and this is the result that you see It's like almost like fog, but it's all smoke smoke in the air And eventually I guess it will dissipate Disappear and we'll be back to normal The Sun can't even really get through this <laughs> smoke, you know well, we are going to get home tonight, and I know my family is waiting already for me. I know my wife misses me already a lot. I miss them too. Let's put the hammer down and get ourselves home. Alrighty, guys, here we are coming into Steinbach. I'm going to draw up the trailer at the yard, and we'll see what we'll do from there. Anyways, we'll uh, do drop our trailer and fill out our uh, paperwork and then uh, let's go take care of some business. Alrighty, here we are guys. I'm gonna get in here and do our thing. Finish filling out my paperwork and all that and then uh, Go hand that paperwork in so we can get paid. Alrighty, guys, we uh, finished uh, filling out our paperwork. Got the envelope full of paperwork. And I don't know if you guys ever have seen this paperwork before. I'm gonna see if I can get a closer up there a little bit. And what it really is is a uh, inspection, uh, re repair, maintenance, and service record. And what we gotta do is every time we, we repair our uh, truck and stuff like that. We got to uh, write it in here, or what I usually do is I just attach the receipts on uh, on the stuff that we uh, we got repaired. But uh, I'm just seeing something over there in the shop, and that's really cool. So I might grab my camera and go in there and record it real quick. But we'll see. Anyways, we'll be right back. I'll go hand this in, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, we finished taking care of the paperwork. Took that stuff inside and uh, that uh, inspection uh, repair maintenance report there we got to hand it into our safety department there every month at the end of the month and most companies require that these days and so we got to do that every month at the end of the month so it's just been past the end of the month well, I'm home now so I figure well take care of that right away too fill it out bring it in and that way it's done don't need to worry about it but I think I'm just going to cut it here for now and uh, we'll end the day here and I'm thinking about maybe taking tomorrow off I don't know for sure if that's gonna happen but that's a plan for now anyways. I think tomorrow I'm just going to take a day off. So, uh, if you don't see a video tomorrow, then you know what happened. And you know what happened. It means I just took tomorrow off. Yes siree. Anyways, you all have a good day. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be... I'll be back after tomorrow, like not tomorrow, but the day after I'll be back, so we'll see you guys on the next one. But 
thanks for joining me on today's vlog and have a good rest of your day. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.